Hi everyone, in paper 3, section B, the very first question you get will be a 10 mark question. Assess something using data. Maybe it's assessing some economic theory, maybe it's assessing the impact of a policy, maybe it's assessing the macroeconomic performance of a country or multiple countries. You have to assess something, crucially, using data. Using the data in the source material that you're given. The word assess implies that this is an evaluative question. Let's go straight into the technique and structure and then into my tips here. Right, I would recommend that you start with definitions. Whatever the key terms are in the question, define them so then you know what you're focusing on and you show the examiner some core knowledge here. So start with some definitions. Then what you're looking to do is to write three paragraphs. You want to explain three points in detail. Or now that could be about macro performance, that could be about um, a core theory, it might be about the impact of a policy, whatever. You're explaining three points in detail with theory, okay? So whatever the question is, you're answering that question with economic theory three times, okay? Three different things. And crucially though, you've got to do it with this next, using data effectively to back up those three points. I know maybe the question is about assessing the impact of monetary policy, and you've got data about growth. Right? So you'd explain the link between expansionary monetary policy, let's say, and economic growth. So there's your, there's your point, there's your theory. Right? You then use data to back it up. So you say, well, look, look at the impact of growth in these, in these quarters of this year. Clearly, that's the sign of monetary policy working. Right? So that could be a point that you make. So whatever point you're making, you've got to back it up with data. Maybe that's just quoting something from the sources that you have. Maybe it's working out an average or a trend or something. Maybe it's a high point and a low point, I don't know. It can be anything that you want, as long as it backs up, as long as it backs up the point that you're making in theory, yeah? So that's really important. One other thing I'd recommend you do is to evaluate throughout, right? Now, we won't say this explicitly in the math scheme, but I would strongly, strongly recommend it. It's very easy to do. Keep this simple. At the end of every paragraph, just make a nice, simple, evaluative point. We're going to look at what points there could be in a second. So look to evaluate throughout, but of course you need to evaluate in a judgment. This judgment is expected. Without a good judgment, you're not going to hit the top level. You're not going to hit the best marks for this kind of question. So your judgment is crucial, and it's not just the data material that can help you make a judgment here and answer the question. Your own knowledge, if you know something about whatever the question is asking, is very helpful too, especially if the question is UK-based. You know, assuming you've got good information about the UK, you can answer the question uh, in your own way as well, using your own knowledge as well as the source material, the data to back you up as well. But you need to make a judgement. So there's the, the structure there. Definitions, your three points with data, so three paragraphs, evaluation in each paragraph and then a strong judgement to finish. What about my tips? When you're explaining, you're explaining theory, aren't you? You're explaining the theory of what the relationship is from whatever the question is asking to the data that you have. So think change when you're explaining your theory, explaining why the data is the way it is. Your data has got to be backing up the point that you're making. I've already said that, so make sure that that is the case. And just a key tip here, the points that you make can be on either side of the debate. So it could be if the question is about assessing the impact of monetary policy on growth. So your point could be, well, look, you know, here's how it's worked. Another point could be, well, there's some data here which says it hasn't worked, and going through the theory why. All right? But the data that you use has got to back up your theory, whether it's backing up whatever the question is saying or going against whatever the question is saying. The data has got to be effective in uh, backing up the point that you're trying to make. Your judgment has got to be strong, so you've got to make sure that you leave a good amount of time for your judgment, maybe five minutes or so to make a really good solid judgment here. And the judgment should follow the same techniques that you already know. Make sure you've watched my video on how to make a judgment. Follow exactly the same three-stage technique. Answer the question, justify why, maybe using data, using your own knowledge to help you as well, and then providing some balance. So evaluation in the judgment is key. Be quick and be accurate. I've said 20 minutes, it might even take you less than that, but no more than 20 minutes. And that gives you time to read through the source data, to understand the data that's in front of you, to formulate a quick plan before you start writing it, um, and then to actually write it. If you think about it, you're not writing a huge amount, are you? So 20 minutes should be enough time to do a damn good job. Now, evaluation throughout, and especially in your judgment, is really important. What kind of evaluative points do you have when it comes to a data question like this? You can always question the source of the data, 
Where has the data come from? Can we trust that source? Is that source biased? For example, if it's a newspaper with an agenda, um, is that source reliable, trustworthy? Is there a source there for the data? Maybe there isn't a source, in which case you can critique that and say, well, hang on, if we don't know where this has come from, can we really trust it? Is the source varied or is it very narrow focused? If it's very narrow, maybe you're thinking, hmm, it's a bit tough to make a very important judgment on such a narrow bit of data. Um, the time period, so is it just a snapshot of data from one year or two years, maybe a month or two's worth of data? You can question the time period and whether it's too narrow with the time period that we're looking at. Um, maybe the number of countries you can question as well. Is there only a few countries that have been used to make a comparison? Is that good enough to then form a judgment around it? So you can always evaluate the number of countries. Are there any other factors that can explain the relationship that maybe you know, the data doesn't include? You can always bring that into, uh, into account when it comes to evaluating. Therefore, is there a need for other data to actually answer this question properly? You know, in which case, what data do we need? Write it down. You know, what data would you like? Write it down. Make that clear. You know, not just that there are other factors that could have caused this relationship, but say, well, there isn't data about those other factors. Maybe we need that data to form a correlation versus causation relationship, which is a very difficult thing to do in economics if you've only got one thing that you're uh, looking at in terms of data. Whereas if you had numerous data, then to look at correlation versus causation is much easier. You can form a judgment much better. So these are good evaluation points whenever you're assessing data. Always look out for these in your 10 marker. They will always apply somewhere. And that will really help you make a judgment and to evaluate your points throughout the essay. Hopefully now you can nail this 10 marker, practice it, Yes, um, you can use past paper questions. I know there aren't that many, but you can form your own questions, right? Find some data, you know, work out a question around it and have a go at it. Very easy to do. Practice will make perfect on this. I think a very easy question, quite fun to do. All the best with it. I'll see you all later on.